This is my Browning Nomad. Uh, it's another one of my uh, collection of 52-inch bows. I only have three 52s, and I have a couple of 56s and a 58. And then, of course, all of my horse bows are between 47 and 51. Um, I have an affinity for shorter bows. I can't test and shoot much longer than this in my basement anyway, safely. So I have a very short basement. I'm not very tall, and I can reach my, well, the, the bottom of the joists. Um, it's, a, it's a little scary. Anyways, uh, beyond that, uh, I've borrowed the chronograph. I'm rushing through three of the bows, just four of the bows actually, because of the YT4, and then the two other bush bows, the Checkmate Raven and the Pearson Mach 1, to get them chronographed, because I want to see. I'm curious to be able to compare across the bows. Now, this bow is 42 at 28. That's what the rating is. I have the brace height set at seven inches or 17 and a half centimeters. I like the brace height at about seven inches myself. It's just a personal preference. The draw length, my draw length, which is the green tape, is about 26 inches, 26 inches. So, because I'm short. So I'm going to see what it is on my fingers. So that's 41 pounds on my fingers. That's actually not bad. Okay, try that again. Yep, 41 pounds on my fingers. So once again, so that I can compare everything across the same. I'm using the X Busters. These arrows are definitely too long. The spine of 500 is pretty good, not bad for 41 pounds. Um, 450 might be better. Um, they're uncut X Busters from Carbon Express. They are um, 32 inches, so 81 something centimeters, or 33 inches from knock to point, so that would be 84 centimeters. Um, these are definitely too long for this bow. But um, for the purpose of keeping consistent testing and for me to be able to compare. Now the results will vary, of course, because it's me doing the drawing here. I'm going to shoot two sets of six, and then I will do an average, high speed, peak speed, a low speed, and of course I will do an average. So that way I can compare across the different bows. One, four, nine. I'll be posting those speeds, everything below, since I don't actually know the speeds yet, or the averages. One, five, one. One, five, two. One four nine. One five two. One five four. Set of six. The Browning Nomad, the Stalker, uh, forty one pounds on my finger. Uncut X Busters. One five zero. One four seven. Four five. Thinking my draw is getting bad. Dropping. One four eight. One.
I think I'm going too fast. And 149. Yeah, I think I was rushing myself and not setting properly. I use um, a kisser point just because I'm used to, that's what I'm used to. Um, so most of my bows, not all of my bows, but most of my bows when I'm shooting with fingers and traditional, I use a kisser point to kind of give me a reference. Um, so that's the Browning Nomad, one of my favorite bows. Also an economical Kijiji find. Um, I have shot, done video before, of it before, just doing a form check. And I, I, I like it. I mean, I really like these short bows. They're fun bows to shoot. Now, I'm a short guy, and when winter comes, and I'm fooling around in my basement, these short bows are real fun to shoot. Uh, if I'm out on the 3D range, also really, really fun to shoot. I mean, I really enjoy shooting these. And then, of course, the the, the, the shorter um, Asian-style bows where I'm shooting thumb draw, I really like. And I'm actually getting a lot higher speeds out of the Asian bows, but I think that has more to do with the power stroke, not the actual draw weights. Uh, if I was pulling these at um, similar draw lengths, which I physically can't, not with fingers anyways, um, Unless I tried the English war bow, but I don't know if these bows would go that far, 31, give or take inches. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think it's the power stroke that gives them that extra speed with these same arrows. Um, these, uh, these bows would be much, much faster, of course, with uh, properly cut um, arrows, and those are not, they're not actually, they're not cut for this, right? The, 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 it should be like a 27 and a half, maybe 28 inches. Um, the grain, 500 grain should be fine. 450 maybe. Um, the 447 grain weight or the 29 gram weight is, is okay. A little bit lighter would probably, well, a little bit lighter would go a lot faster. If I was, that's what, 10 grains per pound approximately. Um, if I was shooting, say, 9 or 8, I'd get a lot faster than that. So that would be common across all the bows. So I uh, hope you like these guys, the, the little bit of experimenting and showing what's, what's going on. And um, see you guys later. Take it easy.